In this video, we are going to discuss, maximum material condition. In brief, we will cover the following topics. 1. What you mean by the maximum material condition. 2. Discuss various scenarios with MMC, and without MMC. And. 3. Advantages of applying maximum material condition. To start with, let us consider this example, where a manufacturer is provided with this engineering drawing. Let's take a closer look at the features of this object. So we have length, breadth, and height of the object. And, there are two holes with a specified diameter and its tolerances in place. Also, there are more parameters to be considered while manufacturing these holes, which are, the hole should lie within positional tolerance with respect to defined datums, and a symbol that is encircled M, which denotes the maximum material condition. So in this video, we are going to discuss, how to interpret and apply the maximum material condition. What do you mean by the maximum material condition? To understand this, let us place the tolerant zones, allowed for this object. Starting with the length of the object, the length of the object should be between, 5 plus 0.01 which is 5.01, and, 5 minus 0.01 which is 4.99. The width of the object should be between, 2 plus 0.01 which is 2.01, and, 2 minus 0.01 which is 1.99. The height of the object should be between, 1 plus 0.01 which is 1.01, and, 1 minus 0.01 which is 0.99. And the diameter of the holes should lie between, 0.504 plus 0.007 which is 0.511 and 0.504 minus 0.002 which is 0.502 which means, to accept this part, all its features should lie within their respective tolerance zone. Now, this object will have maximum possible material, when its length, width, and height, will be at the topmost tolerance limit, that is its length will be at 5.01, its width will be at 2.01, and height will be at 1.01, and, both the holes will be at its lowest possible tolerance limit. That is both the holes will have a diameter of 0.502. When the object is manufactured at these limits, the object is said to be at maximum material condition. Simply because of these conditions the object is having maximum possible material. In other words, we can say that, an object attains its maximum material condition, when external features will be at its largest possible tolerance limit. And the internal features will be at its smallest tolerance limit. Hope, with this explanation, the concept of maximum material condition is clear. Now moving forward and looking at the application of MMC, to understand the effect of maximum material condition, we are going to focus on this hole. Well, to accept this hole, we need to meet all the required criteria laid down by the engineering drawing. So, let's list these criteria in a tabular format to get a better understanding. The first criterion will be the diameter of the hole, which should have a diameter within its tolerance zone. The diameter should be between 0.502 and 0.511. The second criterion will be the center of the hole, which should lie within the positional tolerance of 0.010. And the third criterion will be the functionality, that is, the manufactured object should serve the purpose it is intended for. So, once this hole complies with these requirements, the hole will be accepted, otherwise rejected. Also, we will see the effect of MMC on these requirements, we will analyze the effect of applying MMC, and what happens when we do not apply the MMC. Let's discuss, the functionality of this object in more detail, so that we have a clear picture of the purpose of this object. This object will be attached to another object by means of nut bolt, a common mechanical assembly, you will see a major of the structures. So, we have our first object to which our manufactured object will be attached by nut bolt. Now, we have our manufactured object, placed on top of the other object, as seen on the screen. Next, these two nuts are used to attach these two objects. 
You can also see the section view of this assembly. To know more about section view, watch my video on different types of views. Coming back to our manufactured object, to accept this object, the holes should be manufactured such that, the hole allows the penetration to reach the thread of the other object. As illustrated on the screen, once this criterion is met, the object will be accepted for its functionality. Switching back our focus on this hole, we are going to see this hole in enlarged form, with scale in place, to get a better understanding. First, we are going to place, this hole on our enlarged view, this hole will guide us to confirm the functionality of our manufactured hole. Next, we'll place the manufactured hole onto the enlarged view, to analyze the various scenarios. Then we'll have our tolerances in place, starting with the positional tolerance, which means the center of the manufactured hole should lie within this positional tolerance zone. Now, we'll place our diameter tolerance zone for our manufactured hole, as illustrated on the screen. Followed by the axes of the hole, which will help us to locate the center of the hole. With these parameters in place, let's start analyzing the manufactured hole data, one by one, which will eventually lead us to understand the effect of maximum material condition on our hole. Consider the first example, where this hole is manufactured with a diameter of 0.502, which lies within the tolerance zone, so the manufactured diameter is accepted. Let's tick this box for acceptance. And the center of this hole lies within the positional tolerance zone of 0.010. For illustration purpose consider the hole is manufactured at 0.000. Let's tick this box as well for acceptance. Now, to verify the functionality let's move to the enlarged view. Here we have our manufactured hole at 0.502, and the center of the hole at 0,0, which is with positional tolerance of 0.000. This manufactured hole will only meet the functionality requirement, when we can see this hole through the manufactured hole, such that, the manufactured hole should not overlap the other hole as illustrated on the screen, which will result in the rejection of the object. So, for this example, as you can see the other hole is visible through our manufactured hole, which means it meets its functionality requirement. Hence, we can tick this box as well. Since we have met all the requirements to accept the part, there is no requirement to consider the effect of maximum material condition, and this object can be accepted straight away. Now let's explore this example, in various scenarios. As you can see, when the hole is manufactured at 0.502, and its center lies within the positional tolerance of 0.010, it will meet its functionality requirement in all possible cases. Consider the next example, where the hole is manufactured at a diameter of 0.503, which means this diameter is within the tolerance limit and is accepted. Well, the position of the center of this hole is now recorded at 0.011, which means it is out of the positional tolerance limit of 0.010, hence this is not accepted as per the requirement. To confirm the functionality of this hole, let's take a look at this hole on the enlarged view. Here we have the manufactured hole at 0.503, and the center of the hole lies at 0.0055, which reads out to be 0.011. Now, since this hole is visible through, the manufactured hole, and since both these holes do not overlap each other, this means that the manufactured hole meets its functionality requirement. Let's tick the functionality requirement in our table. Well, now we can see that, although the hole serves the purpose, that is it meets its functionality and diameter requirement. Still it is rejected because its position is out of positional tolerance limit. Keep in mind that, here we have not applied the maximum material condition for this hole yet. Now we'll apply the maximum material condition, and study the effect of MMC on this hole. When we apply the MMC to this hole at the diameter of 0.503, the positional tolerance increases to 0.011, simply because the hole has not yet reached its maximum material condition. 
and have a provision of allowing more material to the object, so, when we apply the maximum material condition, we have to refer to the new positional tolerance of 0.011 at this diameter, and not the initial positional tolerance of 0.010, which means now with the application of MMC this hole can be accepted. Let's take a look at the enlarged view, to make sure that this hole does not fail on its functionality requirement. As allowed by applying MMC, let us increase the positional tolerance to 0.011. Here we are going to look into all the possibilities, so keep a close eye, and observe that the manufactured hole does not overlap the other hole. As you can see, for the hole with a diameter of 0.503 and positional tolerance of 0.011, it meets all the requirements, and hence it can be accepted. Whereas the same hole was rejected when we did not apply the maximum material condition, likewise, when we consider the following examples, all these cases are accepted once we apply the maximum material condition to these diameters. This means, when the diameter of the hole moves away from its maximum material condition, in this case, the hole is at MMC when its diameter is 0.502. It adds to the positional tolerance by the same amount it has moved away from the maximum material condition. In other words, we get the bonus positional tolerance, if the whole diameter has not reached its maximum material condition. As we can see in example 2, the whole diameter has moved away from MMC by 0.001, where this same 0.001 is added to positional tolerance of 0.010 and now we have new positional tolerance of 0.011. Likewise in example 3, the whole diameter has moved away from MMC by 0.002, where this same 0.002 is added to positional tolerance of 0.010, and now we have new positional tolerance of 0.012, and so on for other examples. So, the advantages of maximum material condition, are 1. It reduces the rejection rate. 2. It reduces the scrap. 3 can be inspected in batches using fixtures. With this, we come to an end of this video, hope the concept of the maximum material condition is clear, and the video was informative and useful, if yes. Then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more content on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing.